righty, we're going to be installing a uh, fire bell here in the public building here. It has uh, multiple uh, occupants in it. It's a business. And uh, you have your negative, which is black, your white, which is common, and your red, which is positive. And we're going to hook our bell up to this box. It is uh, hooked up to a, a simplex uh, control system in the office, but the office is uh, private. I'm not allowed to take any pictures in there because there's uh, a whole bunch of uh, confidential uh, papers and documents on the wall. And I will uh, show you how to install this. So this is our uh, the back of our bell and our control. It hooks up to the control system. It has the red, which is positive, black, which is negative, and the white, which is common. We have our paper with the diagram on it. And we'll set our wires through this here. set in here like this and our, we'll line up with our holes for mounting the bell. Okay, we'll strip our wires. It is off in the uh, control box so that we don't, if we touch the wires together, it won't set off the, the alarm. our wires to hook the bell up to the, uh, well these are pre so I'll just clip these back a little bit and keep them short as the, uh, Now what we will do is we'll get our uh, back plate and put our back plate on here. Okay, this is our back plate. If you look at it closely, you'll see where it says top. So you got to make sure you put that up at the top. So we'll put our uh, wires. We'll make sure we don't put this on right side up. So it's going to look like this. So the dinger is going to be down. So we'll put our wires through our hole here. And we'll just simply connect our wires together. We'll get our conductors even on the end there and our insulation even at the bottom. Take our wire knot. Make sure 
is nice and tight. That's our negative. This is our common. Get our insulation even at the bottom and our copper even at the top. Like that there. Make sure they're even. Put our wire nut on. Make sure it grabs both of the wires. And we'll get our red, which is our positive wire. Line them up so they're even. Like that. Get our wire nut on here. Make sure it's all nice and tight. And we'll get our... Uh, we'll get our... Uh, screws out of the box here. Okay, so we'll lift our arm up, we'll put our uh, plate onto the box, we'll get our wires into the box and make sure nothing is pinched. Set our uh, plate up here for the bell to sit on. on our nice and straight. One, two, and now we'll set our Push our wires into our box. We'll set our cardboard into the back of the bell here. And push our wires into the box. And we'll go get our nuts and put the nuts on here that will hold the bell in place. Okay, so we'll put our nuts on that hold the uh, bell in place. And I don't have a socket set, so I'll just tighten it like this. This one's the top one. If I had a socket set, I would use it. If I don't, I don't. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and snug. And now we're ready to put our bell on here.
Did you see the name of the fire bell? It's made by Edwards, and it can be used on a simplex system. So we just take our nut and our block washer, like this here, put our writing facing up, and you see the little notch back in here, you set it in that little notch right there, and we'll just set it in place here like this, and we'll just tighten our knot. And you can tighten it with a screwdriver. And we'll just tap it with a screwdriver to see what it sounds like. Peace. Thanks for watching. That is how to wire a uh, simplex fire bell. Always consult with an authorized uh, technician and follow the instructions on the package.